Hey everyone, welcome to Logan's Mosh Pit. Glad to have you here. Do me a favor and please subscribe if you haven't already. Guitar isn't just for playing, it's also for reading. To prove my point, I'm holding the latest and potentially the greatest January 2024 issue of Guitar World Magazine. There is an abundance of enthralling material stored within these pages. Particularly, an interview initiated by Andrew Daly with Evan Stanley. Paul Stanley's son, Evan, chatted about his brand new band called Amber Wild. Without further ado, let's check it out. How did Amber Wild get together? It started during the pandemic, when I was looking for an outlet to play live. Being in front of people on stage is a form of connection I can't get enough of. I needed that outlet to express what was happening inside me and express it in a way words can't, and that's when it began. Tell me about your songwriting process. The best advice I ever got was, treat it like a job. That means I show up every day and write. It doesn't matter if I'm feeling it, I do it every day. But I love playing guitar, so even if I'm having an off day, inspiration will strike. It's easier to capture lightning in a bottle if you don't stop. And the truth is, there's no better feeling than cranking up my guitar through my Hughes and Kettner amps. They're inspiring because they're packed with cool tones that let me dial in things I've never used before. I can't help but notice your Rock and Roll Relics Thunders has a leopard print like your dad's BC Rich Eagle from the early 80s. Was his guitar an inspiration? Let me start by saying Rock and Roll Relics makes the greatest guitars I've ever played. Better than vintage Gibsons and Fenders, no joke. I've got a silver sparkle on the way, but I love my leopard print one. It's not directly inspired by my dad's, but it's not a coincidence either. With the world I grew up in, his stuff was around me, so some of it had to sneak in, if only subliminally. I'm a huge KISS fan. I love glammy stuff. The visual is important because it's a form of expression. Which of Amber Wilde's songs best defines the band? We just came out of two long rehearsal days, and I brought in this idea which was cool, but was missing something. But as soon as we got in the room together, we banged it out quickly. And it's probably the most balls-out song we have. I love it. It's hooky, punchy, and like guitar Guitarmageddon. It's called Breakout, and we'll release it alongside Silver. Having grown up within the Kiss Machine, what does opening for them mean to you? It's surreal. The older I've gotten, the more I realize how special my dad's work is. I was so close to it, so I never understood the scale of it. But now that I don't live with my dad, I see that Kiss's impact on music and culture is huge. I get to see that firsthand, and I'm very thankful to be a part of it. But the chance to connect with people at this level has me more stoked than ever. I'm ready for it. Last question. What do you see when you look down at your pedal board? A Diodario tuner, CT20 Chromatic. It's a simple tuner that I grabbed at Guitar Center. I chose it because it's what they had in stock. A way huge Oranger, OP Amp Fuzz, the best fuzz I've heard. It's reactive, can roll off, and gives perfect edge frizz. When I roll it up, it's saturated, sustained, and clear. Akili Oxblood Overdrive. I have the EQ dialed, so it's great for solos. It's got a nice high roll-off, where I get a lot of bite, but no harshness. And a way huge Echo Puss Analog Delay. I mostly use this during solo. It's beautiful and musical sounding, making every lead sound better. Well, that wraps up the Evan Stanley interview. I already listened to both songs that he brought up, Breakout and Silver. I thought they were top-notch. He certainly seems like a chip, 
off the old block. I put a link to each tune in the description so you can hear it. I wish Amber Wilde the best of luck at making their mark on the music industry moving forward. That does it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you next time. Till then, rock on.